Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic, and when I am not building combat robots, I play dodgeball. So, uh, I get a bit of a dodgeball down here. This is actually my team top. We are got to dodge them all. Uh, so, obviously, a nice little Pokemon pun in there. And, yeah, so I play dodgeball, which is good fun. There's kind of a couple of major things with dodgeball, though. You've got to be able to dodge or block a ball, you've got to be able to throw a ball, and you've got to be able to catch. Wait, wait, no, no, that's not how you do it. I mean, catch. As you can see, that part I need some work on. So today we're going to be starting work on a dodgeball thrower. So this is going to be a little device, probably flywheels or powered flywheels, that throws a ball at me so that I can work out how to catch these things and catch them well and catch them properly. Uh, so let's get straight into this. I think we're going to do a fair amount of this stuff, prototype 3D printed style, and we'll move on from there. So let's get the printified up and get printing. Okay, so here we go. We have one of the drive pods, or at least the start of one of the drive pods. If I take the top off this thing uh, and take the actual uh, flywheel out, there is no brushless motor in here. So I have some brushless motors sitting around the place that are uh, 22,000 kV, no, 2200 kV. Uh, so they're going to spin really, really fast and hopefully get these flywheels up to a good size speed. Now, uh, yeah, I've got these flywheel pods done up and then I started having a look around online a little bit at other types of flywheel type ball throwers. Uh, because, I mean, I have a full design, I'll show the full design here somewhere, um, but I didn't know if any of this stuff was going to work. So I printed these pods out and immediately went, huh, they're a little bit small, especially compared to the size of a dodgeball. Uh, so I had a bit of a look online, and as you can see kind of here, um, a lot of these ball throwers, especially ones that are throwing like baseballs and things, which are tiny little balls, have huge brushed motors on them, which kind of worries me a little bit. I'm starting to think that this whole system might not have enough power to get the job done. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, mount these to a temporary system, just a piece of board that I can feed balls through the flywheels and see how we go. Basically, I just want to make sure either A, they do have enough power to get the balls uh, thrown and in some decent speed, and B, that they don't rip these things apart. These are just a foam ball covered in latex, uh, so they can be ripped pretty easily, so I wanna make sure that these things don't do that. And then if everything goes well here, then we'll carry on with the full plan and we'll have a full dodgeball shooter uh, that has like a, a feed and an actual tube and some automatic pushing and all that kind of stuff. But for today, it's gonna be uh, flywheel testing by bolting these things or printing some extra bits and then bolting these down to wood base and just seeing how everything goes. So let's get that sorted. Okay, so now I have both of the drive pods done up, or the flywheel pods done up, and I've hooked up one of those flywheel pods uh, to a little circuit rig and a little 2S LiPo battery. So this is going to provide about 8 volts. Eventually the plan is to hook this all up to a computer power supply and draw 12 volts into here, but for now I just wanted to power this whole thing up and do a quick test to see how these flywheels go 
before mounting it down to a board and trying to shoot a ball with it. So let's power on up. Cool. And let's give this a little bit of the old spin up. Wow, okay. That is actually kind of scary. Damn, and I was, I was at four out of nine on the little servo tester I have down here. So this thing is gonna, this thing is gonna throw balls pretty damn fast. I like that. All right, let's get it actually mounted to something and test it with a bowl. And there we have it, as a quick test of these drive pods, I think this didn't do too badly. Uh, admittedly, we were running it on eight volts, but it got down to about seven and a half uh, towards the end there, and I never ran it at full speed. Uh, I was having some issues, and I think those issues came down to this little really cheap servo tester that I have. Uh, yeah, it's um, not the greatest thing in the world, and for some reason I kept getting like brownouts or something with the signal somewhere along the line, I guess, because uh, what I was seeing was that these guys would spin all the way up and then they would reset and make the startup beeps again, which was a little bit weird. So I wasn't getting quite top speed out of these things. Also, uh, you might have noticed, well, I noticed as well that uh, this pod over here didn't actually ended up getting slower than this pod here, and that's because uh, the nylock nuts on top of these uh, drive pods that hold the axle in place didn't actually hit the nylon So that meant that this one was constantly loosening itself And as you can see I've lost the nylock nut over this side or maybe you can't but I have lost nylock nut over this side And I haven't over here So what I'm thinking is that means that this was spinning in the direction to put pressure down Onto the actual flywheel and it does feel like that it feels a bit tighter than it was before So what I'm assuming is that this guy here has tightened itself up and this one's loosened itself up. So this was spinning faster than this one, and that meant that I never got a really good test of actually getting a proper shot out of it. Um, I did also change the distance between the two flywheels partway through the test because I wasn't getting quite enough bite. Uh, I think I might dial it back a little bit for the full test, but for now, as I said, it seems to be doing okay. I've got a few small issues to work out, but I'm pretty happy that these drive pods with the right amount of power behind them should actually be able to kick a ball out quite fast. So we're going to uh, go ahead and do that in the next episode that we look at this guy. It might be a little while yet, I do have still got a bit of uh, R&D to do, but then we will come back to this thing, probably reprint all of the pieces and build something more impressive. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video.